So what's going on people, thanks for tuning in again. I've got these lovely white gold diamond earrings. We've had them in for a little while now, and we've got them up for 7,500, but they seem to be, just be sitting there. So there's 36 stones in these earrings together, and we're thinking about popping them out and making 18 pairs of studs. So as I said, we've got these up at the moment for 7,500. So if we make these into 18 pairs of studs for 700 pounds each, that means we'll get back 14,400. So it looks like we're making double the money, but we have to go out and buy 18 mounts, and we're gonna have to do 18 different sales to get our profit in. How's it going everyone? So recently I bought a parcel of gemstones, some precious, some semi-precious, had some rubies in it, sapphires, and it had these two lovely opals in it. Now I've never really done much with opals, but these are beautiful. We've filmed them, the camera doesn't do them justice to what they do by eye. Uh, I had another one, it's a slightly bluer version. These two sort of matched. Wasn't sure what to do with them, so had our workshop hand make a pendant and ring. Very simple designs, an 18 karat yellow gold. These opals, I don't know how these are not more popular for me. Like they sparkle like a diamond, but the colors in it. So this one's very white, like a milky white, with a lot of green and red undertone in it. This one's a bit more yellowy with the green and red as well. But to the eye, absolutely beautiful. So literally just got these back this morning. We just uh, tried filming it. We matched this up with one of our uh, 14 karat diamond chains as well. So just gonna work out costs and everything or what everything costs us and then these will be going up on the gram. But what's your opinions on Opals? Uh, bit of you or pass? Can we get links? Can we get links? Mm. Is it white gold or silver? Yeah. Uh, is this, is this, does this fit you perfectly? Yeah, well, that's that's a little bit too big. I'd like to, some links taken out of that. Well, we've taken links Maybe out of this, we can have them. The problem with me is, it's just, I don't think we're going to be able to get yeah, the links. Yeah, make one yeah. link. No one's going to stop the exact same. And then no one's going to have just two links for sale. If you change that and put a small one on there. It's going to, yeah, it's you're going to be tighter, yeah. So you might just have to do that then. I just don't think I'm going to be able to do this, make this longer, to be honest. I could swap the locks over if you want. Yeah, just swap the locks over then, and we'll see how it looks after that. Yeah. Because with a bigger lock, it might actually... That's going to add a little bit, yeah. Yeah, a bit, a bit length. Yeah, so we'll swap the locks over, that's not a problem. Yeah. Uh, I'll see if I can get another big lock, because a big lock won't be horrendous. I'll see if they've got anything like this yeah. uh, when I'm down there tomorrow. Sweet. No worries. Yeah. Have a good day, yeah. hey, You too, buddy. Thanks yeah. for coming in. Bye-bye. So a gentleman's come in with his silver chain and bracelet. He wants to make the chain a little bit longer. So we're going to try and figure out a way of making this a bit longer for him. And he wants this a bit shorter. He wants to take this lock off of the bracelet and pull it onto the necklace. And then he wants it all polished up. So me and Jake do the polishing. So hopefully within around seven days, this guy will have a lovely setback. So yeah, uh, today's the day. We're here to find out what the stone comeback has from GIA. Quite excited. I'm hoping, I mean, the goal is HSR2, the dream is GSR2. So if it comes back as a HSR2, I was right in the gamble. Uh, that's probably fairly what it is. If it is possible for Aerostone to get a better grading, they've got a bit less strict. So the dream is GSR2, but the goal is HSR2. So I mean, we'll see how it goes. Uh, fingers crossed, if it comes back as a HR1, uh, we knew it was that, that's what it was certainly at before. Probably wasn't worth the gamble to send it back, but it does mean that we get the cert because it didn't have a cert so we'll have to cert it's been laser and scrub so it won't be a total loss but probably wouldn't have to have sent it back to GIA because we knew what they already thought it was we just assumed they might have got a bit better so let's see well, I was going to say I was going to say you're lucky but you're unlucky because of actually you got to the goal not the dream but you're not unlucky because H was what the cut yeah, yeah. so actually you are lucky do you want me to say? Start no, that's again. it. No, you're all right. So I'm saying, you, yeah. You're so lucky. what was it? HSI 2. HSI 2. You've had a lucky day. Lovely. Excellent, excellent. Very good. I think it was excellent. Very good, very good before. What's it gone now? Excellent, excellent. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Medium blue. Before. Excellent. Very good, very good. Okay, or oh, very good, excellent. I'm sure I had two VGs before. Lovely. Okay. Well, um, yeah, you've been lucky. I don't think that's a lovely stone. I think it faces up so well. Yeah. 
does, doesn't it? It's a nice stone. Happy. Got exactly, well, not exactly what we wanted, but that was the goal. I mean, we thought it was sort of a very harshly graded before. Someone else has had a look at it, and luckily it wasn't laser engraved, because I think if it was laser engraved, they would have looked at it and maybe just stuck to what they'd done originally. So uh, we've had a touch, and we've had it laser engraved this time. So uh, this will be up, mounted, uh, available soon. Check out our Instagram. So the plot graph, which just shows you where the marks are, obviously there's a very long line here for a fiver or a glatz. Couple of little marks here. One that I never picked up on there, and then tiny, tiny little marks here. This is obviously the main bit. If it was just ES, this would be VS, but it's this big long line. We'll put PDF up so you can see it, and we'll circle it, but it's this long line that you can see, which is dropping the grade into SI2. That long line weren't there, this would be SI1, potentially VS2, but it is very big. It is the length of this full facet. So, yeah, happy, gamble paid off, because we've obviously had to pay for this. This isn't cheap, it had to be shipped over to California and shipped back. Uh, so, happy days. Yeah, yeah. What, uh, uh, gold. Yeah, gold. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll show you some now. Um, so this one's nine carat, six point six mil, and it's nine inches. If it's too, if you like the size, but it's too big, we can cut it down for you, no problem. So, what's the size down? So we haven't got one in between. The next size it goes down, it goes down quite a bit. Then uh, these are the biggest two that we have in the shop, so it'll go down to one of these ones. It's a two hundred fifty-nine. These ones that one's just over a grand. Yeah, we sell bundles of this size. Yeah. This one and the smaller one, we sell loads of. Face, this one's a little bit more subtle, isn't it? Yeah. You don't have another size up from this? I'm afraid not, no. Yeah, that was just shorter. Yeah, this one's right in your face. That one's subtle, isn't it? Yeah. Do you wear much jewellery or watches or anything? Just watches. Watches, yeah. Um, I should have one to match the bracelet if you want to set, yeah? I'll show you. So I've got a 2.9 mil. How long do you want it, mate? 20? Um, not, not too long, right? For you, that'd be a 24 or 26. So this one here is a 24. 26, that's a 24. Let's see if I've got a 26 for you. That one, that's three, but it's 22. All, all, the, all my 3.5s are going to be small. Uh, as I say, Christmas and New Year, everyone's 20 inch. Yeah, look, 20 inch, 20 inch, 22 inch. 22, 22, 20. Yeah, they're all going to be 20 to 22 in my 3.5s, I'm afraid. For the change, and I've got loads of Franco. It's always the way. Someone always wants the one that ain't there. It's always the way. And we'll get a load of 3.5s never on the last one. Four. It'll be the way. It's always the way. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hello. 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 So as you've just seen, the customers come in, we've got over 500 chains in stock, but then everyone wants one that we don't have in stock. He wants a 3.5, 2016 Franco. Trotters will make it happen. How's it going everyone? So we jumped on the phone cam quickly, just because we've got them diamond hoop earrings back just in time for the upload. As you can see, the stones have been removed. We're left with just the mounts. And now we have the lovely Diamond studs around 35 points each. We have them in white gold and yellow gold. Stones are lovely and clean, like Eddie explained to you earlier. So if you're interested in them, they are back. 18 pairs. We'll put some more of the costing in so you can see the sort of final cost of what it costs us to do all of this. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in any of these, you'll see us on our Instagram for 750. But YouTube's getting a discount, they're up for seven. So if you're interested in any of these, drop us a message on the gram and say you see them in YouTube and you'll get 50 pounds off. Uh, thanks for watching.